Hello, fitness family. Let's dive into the ultimate fitness showdown. Bodyweight exercises versus free weights. Which reigns supreme? It's a hot topic that sparks fiery debates across gyms and fitness forums worldwide. On one side, we have the bodyweight enthusiasts who swear by the power of push-ups, pull-ups, and planks. On the other, the freeweight aficionados hoisting dumbbells and barbells claim their method is unmatched. Some even go as far as to declare the opposite approach utterly useless. But let's cut through the noise, shall we? Contrary to the black and white opinions, it's not about one being a waste of time over the other. There's compelling evidence of success stories from both camps, showcasing impressive strength gains and muscle growth. Beware of anyone preaching total devotion to one while dismissing the other. They're missing out on a whole world of benefits. Here's the kicker. Both methods have their unique advantages. Bodyweight exercises or calisthenics excel at enhancing your functional movement, making everyday activities a breeze. Imagine mastering the art of moving your body freely through space, no equipment needed. Sounds intriguing, right? Stick around as we unravel the mystery. Is one genuinely superior? Or is there more to this debate than meets the eye? Let's break it down into fitness lingo we can all get behind. When we talk about free weights, think of them as the home bodies of the workout world. You're in one spot doing your thing, moving weights from point A to point B. Thinking of scaling a mountain or sprinting upstairs like a superhero? Then, my friend, stair runs and box jumps will prepare you better than just pumping iron in place. But here's the scoop on why free weights get a gold star for straightforward gains. Want to beef up or get stronger? It's as simple as picking up something heavier than last time. More reps, more sets, or just plain more weight, it's a no-brainer recipe for muscle. Now, flashback to my calisthenics chat. Yeah, the one that stirred up a storm, I said mastering body weight for strength or size isn't a walk in the park. And guess what? That's still the deal. Progressing with calisthenics? It's like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. Want to level up your push-up game? You're not just adding weights. You're doing acrobatics with your feet in the air, trying out dips, or wrestling with single-arm push-ups. On the flip side, if you're chasing a chest of steel with free weights, it's as easy as grabbing heavier dumbbells. For the folks who'd rather not get tangled in the complexity of calisthenics, free weights are your straightforward ticket to gain city. And here's where each camp pitches their tent. Bodyweight exercises are your wallet's best friend. Absolutely free. Just you and gravity having a blast. Free weights though? They ask for a bit more commitment. Either cash for equipment or signing your soul away to a gym membership. But if calisthenics calls your name, any local park with bars will do. Or maybe splurge on a pull-up bar for those home gym vibes. So whether your team lift it heavy or team move it naturally, Remember, the best workout is the one that makes you feel like a champ, no matter the method. Okay, let's talk about the advantages of free weights and why some people don't like them. Free weights have this standout feature, precision targeting. Imagine having a laser focus on just one muscle group. That's your free weights at work. While calisthenics are awesome for their, their all-in-one approach, hitting multiple muscles with every move, sometimes you want to zoom in on one area. Maybe you're looking to bulk up a particular spot or nursing an injury back to health. Free weights are your go-to for those isolation exercises. Then there's the MythBuster time. The whole free weights equals injury central narrative. Sure, on the surface, hoisting heavy metal sounds like an open invitation for aches and sprains. But here's the real talk. With the right technique and a smart workout plan, the risk of injury drops big time. The danger zone is really about overreaching, lifting more than you're ready for, or getting sloppy with your form. And guess what? The same holds true for bodyweight exercises. Try to pull off a move that's out of your league or botch the technique, and you're just as likely to end up with a boo-boo. So, whether you're team free weights or team bodyweight, it's all about playing it smart and safe. Proper form and realistic goals are your best defense against the dreaded injury city. Now let's dive into the world of calisthenics, or as I like to call it, the art of mastering your own body weight. Imagine having a gym that's as accessible as your own skin, where the equipment is your body, and the workout space is anywhere your two feet can take you. That, my friends, is the essence of calisthenics. First off, calisthenics is the ultimate inconvenience. No gym membership, no problem. Park, living room, or a hotel room. Your gym is wherever you are. It's like carrying a Swiss army knife for fitness. It's versatile, portable, and always ready to go. And then there's the cost, or rather, the lack of it. In a world where everything has a price tag, calisthenics offers a refreshingly hefty dose of freedom. 
No equipment needed means your wallet gets to take a breather while you work up a sweat. But let's talk about the real magic, the results. Calisthenics builds functional strength and muscle tone in a way that's harmonious with your body's natural movements. You're not just lifting weights, you're lifting yourself. Every pull-up, push-up, and squat is a step towards a more resilient, agile, and balanced you. And the variety. Boredom is a word that doesn't exist in the calisthenics dictionary. From basic push-ups to gravity-defying moves like the human flag, the progression possibilities are endless. Each new level achieved is a testament to your strength, skill, and perseverance. Lastly, let's not forget the community. Calisthenics isn't just a workout, it's a global tribe. Parks and public spaces become arenas of inspiration where individuals cheer each other on, share tips, and celebrate progress together. So why calisthenics? Because it offers a blend of freedom, cost-effectiveness, and a holistic approach to fitness that's hard to beat. It's not just about getting fit. It's about rediscovering what your body is capable of in the most natural and empowering way possible. All right, folks, let's settle the age-old debate. Free weights or calisthenics? Which is the champion of the gym? Drum roll, please. Eh. And the answer is, it's complicated. Yep, not the epic showdown conclusion you were hoping for, but hear me out. If you're itching to bulk up like a superhero with minimal fuss over technique, grab those free weights and get lifting. On the flip side, if your dream is to glide through the air with the greatest of ease, calisthenics is your secret sauce. It's also about what tickles your fitness fancy. Do you get a thrill from lifting heavy things? Or does the thought of doing a handstand in the great outdoors get your heart racing? It's all about personal preference. Now don't think for a second that picking one means you're missing out on the perks of the other. Sure, free weights are the go-to for muscle and strength, but calisthenics has its own set of superpowers if you're ready to put in the work. The catch? Most of us are just looking to feel good and maybe flex a bit in the mirror, not necessarily perform acrobatics on the nearest set of parallel bars. For the everyday Joe or Jane, Mastering push-ups and pull-ups is a win, but pulling off a flagpole or front lever? Overkill for a casual Tuesday. However, if becoming a bodyweight wizard is on your bucket list, who's to say you shouldn't go for it? And for the weightlifters, spicing up classic moves with a bit of extra weight can bring a whole new challenge. Remember, gym goers aren't typically lying awake at night dreaming of deadlifting a small car. But if lifting heavy is what makes your heart sing, then by all means, keep stacking those plates. At the end of the day, whether you're swinging from a bar or squatting with one, it's all about doing what you love. All right, team, here's the grand finale, the big reveal, the secret sauce to your fitness journey. Mix it up. Why pick one when you can have the best of both worlds? Calisthenics and free weights are like peanut butter and jelly, great on their own, but even better together. So let's not pigeonhole ourselves into one camp. Embrace the variety, folks. Mix in some body weight mastery with those weightlifting wins. But hey, if you're a one path wanderer, that's cool too. You do you. What's the spice that makes calisthenics or free weights your flavor of the month? Drop your thoughts below. I'm all ears and ready for a good laugh or a profound insight. Smash that like button yet? Go on, give it a tap if you've had a few chuckles or picked up a tip or two. And don't forget to share this with your workout buddies or that friend who can't decide between yoga and deadlifts. Hit subscribe for a treasure trove of fitness funnies and wisdom. Thanks for hanging out with me. Keep flexing those muscles and glowing with health. Until next time, stay awesome.